he saw that the choir was so it was all of you help so many ways. Oh, I forgot, Brian. How could I ever forget that? Oh, Lord. How did I get the chairman of the board? <laughs> it can be humbling. I forget things so often. <laughs> so, I wanted to thank the choir. Absolutely beautiful. And thank you so much, Kathy and, and the whole Donnelly family. I, wanna, I thought I'd just say, tell a little story about a, a couple of my experiences with Jack. When I first uh, <coughs> wandered into this effort to preserve these inner city parochial schools, I was talking uh, with the pastor at St. Martin de Porres, and uh, he made an interesting remark about trying to keep that school going. He said, you know, we've had a lot of generous donors over the years. But, you know, Jack Donnelly's been the one guy that is always here. Donors come and donors go. That happens in philanthropy. But Jack's always here. And, uh, you know, that, that's, uh, that was so true of my experience with Jack. He, he was always there. He was always somebody you could count on. And, uh, you know, just, you know, a, a remarkable man. I, I remember uh, a point in time <clears throat> when he, uh, Finally sold his business, and I was uh, had an opportunity just to chat with him, and I just said, "Hey, congratulations! You know, you know, good thing, you know, happened. You worked your life to build something up, you can sell it." And he said, "Yeah, yeah." He said, "It's it, it's really great." He said, "Now I can help some people. I want to help." He said, "Really, all I want to do is give away my money." <laughs> so, I mean, you know, what a wonderful, you know, commentary. Uh, about <clears throat> what's important in life. And so, you know, Jack, you know, he did so many good things and <clears throat> gave us, you know, all of his efforts, you know, at, at, at St. Martin Fours, at St. Malachy's, at St. Rosa Lima, and the most, you know, I think the best thing he's given us <clears throat> is his example. And, and uh, <clears throat> you know, and, and you're all living part of it, you know, because you're the people who are always here. So, you know, I want to thank you as well. So, thank, thanks so much. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, the, the entire Donald family. It's just been a wonderful thing. So, Brian mentioned that you know, Jack was always there. One time before we began IMS, Jack had a relationship with our school uh, as well before he, even Independence Mission School. I was on vacation for a week in in Florida in the winter, in February. And I had Jack's cell phone number. And I called and said, Jack, it was snowing in Philadelphia. Jack, I'm sorry to call you. I, I, I'm gonna confess, I'm in Florida. He said, don't worry, he said, I'm in the Virgin Islands. 